Hey Raffaello, welcome back. First we have some supports to get through. Hold a moment, dog. Are you speaking to me? I don't see anyone else here, do you? You're that boar's lapdog. Do not mock his highness. <laughs> Spoken like a good pet. Why do you follow him with such devotion? Do you really think a man like that is worth it? Fargus destroyed my homeland. Burned it all to the ground slaughtered my people the punishment of dusker my father my mother my sibling all were killed we received no aid no respite fargus murdered our dignity and torched our pride his highness is different he is the only one who sees my people as human he risked his life to save mine, and it is thanks to him that I no longer wish for death. That's what we call blind obedience. Tell me, would you give your life for him? Yes. And what if he commanded you to join him in a senseless massacre? I would do it. Even a massacre of children, or the elderly, or your own comrades? Without hesitation. You have misunderstood me. I am the sword and shield of His Highness. Weapons do not have a will of their own. Blind obedience. You're right. I did misunderstand. I shouldn't have called you a lapdog. You're a rabid cur. You and the Boar Prince make quite a team. Two crazed animals. I warned you not to mock His Highness. I am aware you have a history of friendship with him, but one more word. I've said my piece. Scamper back to your master. Damn. Hi there, Ash. Here to do some reading as well, I take it? Uh, Ash? Oh, Ingrid! Oh, you gave me a start! How long have you been standing there? Not too long. Apologies for startling you. Must be a great book for you to be so deeply engrossed in it. What has you so captivated? Oh, uh, it's quite an old book. One of the really old legends of Fargus. Aha! It must be the Sword of Kaifon then, yes? Oh, so you know it! Oh yes, I know it quite well. I read it often as a child. 
In fact, I read it so much that my personal copy fell apart. I brought it everywhere with me. I adore that book. The Tale of the Warrior Kaifon, whose devotion and loyalty enabled his best friend Luke to become king. He went to great lengths to see things through. Exactly. I love the image of him charging forward into the fray, ready to take on any obstacle in the name of his king. Indeed. He was the very picture of the perfect knight. In my opinion, the best chapter is right around the middle of the book. Ah, the part about the war of the eagle and lion? That's my favorite part. In a flash, Kaifon's sword flew from its scabbard. The knight parried the assassin's blade mere inches from the spine of his king. Kaifon's blade hummed like the wind, slashing the enemy's throat. In mere moments, their forces lay vanquished, decimated by his mighty blows. <laughs> I can recite the entirety of it if you like. I never grow weary of that tale, the pinnacle of knighthood, with all its struggles and glory. I know just what you mean. I never get tired of it. Some people laugh at me for reading these old tales, but I'll never outgrow them. I'm glad to find someone who shares my enthusiasm. I'm glad of it as well. Tell me, what other books do you enjoy, Ash? Well, the first one I ever read was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. Oh, you have fantastic taste! That story is another favorite. The final chapter makes me tear up every time. I know. When I first read it, I just couldn't get that ending out of my head. It seems we have much in common. I look forward to chatting again sometime. I'd love to. Yes, let's. I'd better avoid the training grounds. I swear His Highness never sleeps. You're out late, Sylvain. Is it safe to assume you've been wildly carousing with women? I'm afraid that behavior simply will not do. Ah, your Highness! Hello. No, I was not wildly carousing with women. There was only the one. Let's just forget you saw me. Agreed? Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's time someone talked some sense into you. And it seems the task has fallen to me. Sylvain, I'm not saying you can't enjoy yourself at night. But you must learn the art of moderation. Again and again, you end up wandering the streets until the early morning. Okay, I get it. I don't need one of your lectures. I've got them all memorized anyway. I promise I'll be better in the future. I'll stop going out at night, I'll focus more on my studies, and in return, you'll go into town with me, and we'll invite some cute girls to dinner. Shall we shake on it? The way your mind works absolutely confounds me. How did you even arrive at such a notion? You need to get out more. Naive and uptight is no way to live your life. Naive and uptight? <laughs> yes, well, compared to you, I imagine I'm downright run of the mill. I'm not so sure. Most men are experienced enough to know not to give a dagger to the girl they... Will you never let that rest? It was many years ago. Perhaps a good knock on the head will help you to finally forget about it. With your brute strength, a knock on the head could knock the life right out of me. You'd better watch that temper, your highness. So how about this? I'll try to behave, and you'll try to loosen up. <sighs> if I do as you wish, will you truly promise to improve your behavior? what I just say? Of course I'll behave. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. What about you? I want to see you with a girl on your arm. I am a man of my word. I will attempt to do as you ask. But you had better uphold your end of the bargain as well. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'll believe it when he introduces me to the lucky girl. Oh, Dimitri, you always take even the silliest things so very seriously. This should be fun. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, Ryan. Baba Booey. Nightfall? Already? I suppose I'd better wrap up. Good work with your training today, Ingrid. Here's something to wipe up the sweat. Whoa, Mercedes. Hi. Hello. How long have you been... Um... Thank you. You're very welcome. I've been here since you started. 
That long? Huh. Well, my apologies for not having noticed you. I get so caught up in training, you know. But why are you here? I can't imagine it was too terribly interesting watching me. I disagree. I just couldn't help but admire your training technique. I have to say, you are very impressive. I'm nowhere near as graceful as you. Graceful? I wouldn't say that, but thank you. If I'm to be honest, I'm the one who admires you. Goodness me, how so? You're always so put together. You hold yourself with such poise and have such a keen eye for fashion. I mean, even the handkerchief you handed me smells like... Lavender, is it? It's just lovely. That perfume is a favorite of mine. I'm so glad you like it. Probably. Even the fact that you thought to put perfume on your handkerchief <clears throat> is delightfully foreign to me. I'd never have thought of that. I'll gladly share some with you. You're welcome to come visit my room whenever you'd like. We can have tea and chat. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds really nice. Yes. <laughs> Sipping tea and having a chat. It's unlike me, but it sounds lovely. From now on, we'll meet up whenever we have time. We can go right now if you're free. Oh, no need to trouble yourself and rearrange things for me. It's no trouble at all. You'll never know if you're the type who enjoys chatting over tea if you never try. <laughs> All right then. That's half of them, I think. Oh, two more. Hey, Annette. Hitting the magic books again? Has anyone ever told you that you're pretty cute when you're studying? Sorry, Sylvain, but I'm trying to think right now. Could you keep quiet for a bit? How can you stay focused reading a book that thick? With such small print? Is some of that text upside down? If I use the formula in this line here, the magical energy should... No, that's not right. You're even cuter when you're working through a difficult problem. Sylvain, I'm serious. Please be quiet. Uh, hang on. Look at the third line. You've got the formula wrong. I said the... Oh, you're right. How did you know that? Well, I mean, it's written right there. Most people wouldn't be able to grasp this formula just by glancing at it. Have you read this book before? Nope, this is the first time. Okay, now that I look at it... Wow, this book makes things way more complicated than they need to be. Hmm. And what's your take on this part here? It's just describing another application for the same formula. <laughs> this is pretty easy. You know, you're actually kind of amazing. I've been studying magic for a while now, but even I have trouble with this stuff. You act like all you do is mess around, but are you actually working really hard in secret? Nah, hanging out with girls is way more fun. I guess I just oh pick God. this stuff up somewhere. Life is short, Annette. If you waste it working hard, it'll be over before you know it. Get out in the world. Have some fun. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. You're strong and smart without even trying. It's not fair. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. No, I was just thinking you're pretty cute when you're sulking. You know that? <sighs> what is wrong with you? Hey, uh, I just got lucky with that stuff in the book. I'd normally never be able to outsmart you. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and leave you to it. Got lucky, huh? I'm not so sure about that. Well, that does it. It might be tough, but I won't accept second place. Let's go, me. I can do this. I'm gonna finish this whole book before sundown. <clears throat> One mo. Oh, Ash, are you here to study too? I am. It's quiet here. Easier to concentrate. <sighs> it really is. Hey, would you like to study together? We can help each other out if we get stuck. Oh, yes. We'll get a lot more done working together. Uh, hmm. What's the matter, Ash? This question's got me stumped. 
A ballista inside a castle is ready to fire at enemies outside. What angle should be used for the shot? Assume the ballista is the same as those in Garrig Mach. Ignore the effects of wind. This is for defensive strategy, isn't it? Why is it so complicated? Don't you just aim and fire? Hmm... It may help to focus on maximizing target accuracy to reduce your miss rate. To start, let's sort out the setup. Let's see, using these ballista specifications... If the ballista corals follow this trajectory, they'll hit the enemy lines, right? Oh, that makes sense, because the enemy line will be here. That's it! Okay, now try using that same technique and applying it to this other problem. If the walls are this high and the enemy lines are at that distance... Oh, I think I see! I knew you'd get it. Wow, I didn't expect math of all things to be useful in a siege. This is tough. Numbers are not my strong suit. But this really is the sort of thing you have to know if you want to command troops. That's true, but not everyone is good with numbers. That's why we have tacticians do these calculations for us, or prepare them before we go to battle. A century ago, the Empire's mathematicians played a huge role in the Battle of the Wall of Fodlan. I had no idea. Hey, you really know what you're doing, Annette. You think so? Definitely. You've obviously done a lot of studying. I really admire that. I suppose I have. Studying is a necessity if you want the advantage over your enemies. <laughs> but necessity aside, it's nice to hear you say that. All right. Just gonna clear the inventories of useless stuff. And then start this. Goddess's right of rebirth is finally here. Let's move ahead with our plan. Leave it to me. Professor, are you in as well? We've narrowed down their objective. Kind of. So, let's show everyone that we can carry out our duties better than anyone. We are counting on you, Professor. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The Goddess's right of rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. It's time. All right. Let's stick to the plan and go hide where we can watch over the entrance to the Holy Mausoleum. If anyone suspicious enters, we'll follow them in and take them down. Got it? Let's take a look at our dangerous enemy for this chapter.
death knight. Yeah. I'm gonna do my best to take him down. It's usually easy when you do the it is as we suspected. The lions. The enemy is within. For Black Eagles. Those central church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. Troublesome. I'm on it. The enemy is after the casket of Saint Seros. Do they intend to steal her bones? We must defeat those enemies before they open the casket. But look closely at the ground. There are contraptions of some sort in place. Have to look closely at the stay focused. Aye, aye. I'm on it. What should I do? I'll give it my all. like he has experience. It would be foolish to challenge him recklessly. Zero chance, and he can attack from anywhere as long as you attack him. Damn.
I must steal myself. Oh wait, did I just waste? I'll give it my all. The fight continues. I'll cut through. Here we go. I don't need I'll a chest go. key. Too slow. Hell yeah. Next time, bring your friends. Not good enough. I'm counting on you. I'm on it. Don't I have Night Healer? Who has? What should I do? I feel like if I can get a critical on him. Like moths to a flame. Nope. At least I can just get critted back. I told you that if you fled, I would not chase you. But it seems you wish to die. Stay focused. Says it, Mercedes attacks. I'll save that until I do this. Alright, then Mercedes will finish him off. Oh my, how frightening! Won't you please go easy on me? Was this meeting preordained? Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't expect to encounter someone like you. How fortunate. Yep. Yeah. Mercedes and the Death Knight have some should do it. Relation? I don't know. He gone. 
Here goes. Quite helpful. Ready. I did what I had to. I must steal myself. I'm starting. Another win. The reinforcements haven't arrived? Hmm. If they approach from behind, we can attack them from both sides. Was tough. Thank God. The close encounter is the thing in this game. Being mindful. Yeah. My thanks. Yeah. Well done. Good to have two healers. Stay focused. Left and one to the right. All right. I shall take care of the. The one to the right. I'll have Sylvain. What's next? Whoops. Oh well. Here the boss.
stay vigilant. Finish this guy. Sufficient. Yes, finally some strain. My technique could use some polish. the difference. Oh, 
that was tough. Yeah. Thank you. My thanks. Feeling stronger. You're too late. The seal will be broken any minute now. As expected. Here we go. Another step forward. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't... Uh, a sword. Is the intruder here? Oh, looks Wait, like you have this so under funny. control. You, round up any stragglers. Will do. Oh, you mean how he holds it on his back, sort of. Damn, Ash. Soul of the Creator. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. As for the Masked Knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. It makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Saros is not completely united. 
The church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. Ah, that's right. Geralt did say that you grew up outside the influence of the church. The Church of Saros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrett Muck. The Western Church lies far to the west of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the kingdom's most impressive fortress, Arian Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodlan and yet never have any contact with the Church of Saros is... It's hard to believe. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone oh, yeah. like that as a professor. That is true. So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that, quite unforgivable. Those who stray must be punished, I suppose. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its Crest Stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum. And especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the Sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Fodlan would be consumed by war. Nemesis. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. 
Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sereth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned <laughs> and found a new master. Yeah. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? Is that a fact? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Ka... Kat... Uh... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Yeah, it, it did a little. Hey, it's the background again. Part one. <laughs> White clouds. Verdant rain moon. Tower of black winds. It actually lines up pretty good. And I don't care. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like to... Oh, fuck. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The Lance of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. This skirmish involves a holy relic, and is therefore more than a single noble is capable of resolving. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. 
I really like how... Yeah, I think so. I really like how... Uh, the part one chapters uh, are connected to Blue Lions more than anyone else. Since that's the house I like the most. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, Your Highness. You've grown so much in those years, I hardly recognize you. Friend of yours? This is Rob Reek, an old friend of my father's. I believe I've mentioned him, if you recall. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. <laughs> you flatter me, Your Highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. What brings you to the monastery, Roderick? Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory, and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The crest of flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. There can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. I'll give flowers. Thank you. If, I, if this was Giovanni, he'd be going tea party, baby. For sure. My goodness. Sword training again today? Don't overdo it, alright? I certainly won't, but thanks for your concern, Mercedes. It's more of a hobby than anything, so don't worry too much. A hobby? How wonderful! I would probably get tired of it, but that's just me. Hmm. Didn't you say you hoped to take the sword test soon? You're right! I completely forgot that's coming up! What should I do? To be honest, I've been a bit worried as I haven't seen you at the training ground much. Why didn't you say something sooner if you were so worried about me? It didn't occur to me that you could have forgotten. But you're right. I should have mentioned it. As an apology, why don't you let me help you with your swordsmanship? You would do that for me? I'd really appreciate your help. Okay, but keep in mind that since we're short on time, we may have to overdo it a little. I don't like to overdo it, but if we must, I'll try my best. It's settled. Let's begin. Don't tell me you've forgotten how to hold a sword. We have our work cut out for us. 
I usually just hold the sword without thinking about my grip, you know? Let's see what happens now that you've shown me the proper way to handle it. <laughs> I was nervous at first, but just look at me now! Yeah! <clears throat> Well, I didn't realize offering to help you would mean risking my life. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I just meant to swing the sword. I didn't think it would go flying like that. I'm impressed with how quickly you can dodge. Yes, I know you didn't intend to murder me. Though that scare likely took years off my life. Maybe I'm not cut out for this whole sword fighting thing. Nonsense. It's far too early to give up. The first time I picked up a sword, I was much like you. It's true that different people are better suited to different things. But if you keep at it and refuse to give up, you're certain to improve. Do you really think so? Thank you, Dimitri. It's very kind of you to... Oh! There's a rip in your cuff, Dimitri. How do you think... <laughs> it seems I didn't dodge your sword fast enough. Don't worry, I can easily repair it. I'm the one who tore it, so I'll be the one who mends it. How does that sound? No, please, don't worry yourself over it. Just focus on your exam. Well... <sighs> so I wonder what the theme's gonna Mercedes. be about. Mercedes! You look divine as always. Are you off to pray? Oh, hello, Sylvain. I was just on my way to pray. How did you guess? Well, because I've been watching your lovely... Oh, I get it. You're the type who's always looking at girls, aren't you? I won't lie. I do enjoy beholding women. But I don't mean it like that with you. I know I sound like a dope. I just... I think you're special. Oh, really? You think I'm so clumsy that I need someone to watch over me. Is that why you can't take your eyes off me? You're beautiful, and I mean that. You're... God, every How can I put it single support with this guy. Okay, here goes. I want to get to know you better. As friends, I mean. I don't know where to begin. Well, what's something you like? I like to pray. I've been praying regularly since I was a child. You grew up in the Empire, didn't you? That's right. I was raised in House Bartels. Bartels? I thought you were born to House Martreats. It's a complicated story. I'm not sure that it's a very interesting one, but I'm happy to share it with you. I don't mean to be nosy, if it's too personal. Oh no, I don't mind. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. House Martreats fell shortly before I was born. Oh. My father passed away while my mother was still pregnant with me, so she had nowhere to go. After I was born, my mother ended up marrying the head of House Bartels. Shortly after, my mother bore a true Bartels child who bore a crest. She and I were treated as though we were no longer useful to the family after that. You think the Bartels were just using her to secure a crest? They must have been. My mother and I were removed from the family and forced to flee to a church in the kingdom. I abandoned the Bartels name and took up our old family name again. So you grew up in a church. Okay, it makes more sense now why you're praying all the time. Yes, I... Oh, praying! I forgot that I was on my way to pray. Right, and I interrupted you. Well, see you around, Mercedes. Yes, yeah, see you! Damn. House Bartels wanted a crest, and ruined other people's lives to get one. These idiots are all the same. Yeah. Ties into his brother, who was disowned, like Rhea. Severely. Good morning, Your Highness. Getting in some early That's training, what the huh? About. Oh, it's not too terribly early. And what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. Morning walk? <laughs> Funny. Gustav always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of yeah. your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. Father was always busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Your father, 
He worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. I'll admit it was a bit lonely growing up. But I understand. Father loved his work. No one ever doubted that. Actually, I've been thinking recently that I'd like to talk to you more, Your Highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. But sometimes he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way, it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. Your hey. big brother? What up, Seth? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> no, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certain that my days would have been filled with more fun if I'd had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? Well, for one, he used to tell this story about when you were a child and... You know what? Never mind. I have a bad feeling about where this is going. How about you forget we had this talk all together? And don't mention it to anyone. Alrighty. Hello, Ingrid. Can I have just a teeny tiny moment of your time? Sure. I can spare a moment or two. I was wondering, do you have any interest in fashion and makeup and stuff like that? I haven't the time to bother with such frivolities. As long as basic hygiene is being met, then I'm happy. Oh, but you're missing out on something so fun. I mean, it's not like you need it, of course. You've got beautiful bone structure, lovely hair, long legs, but aren't you interested in trying something new? Um, well, thank you. I suppose I do find it all somewhat intriguing. But my time is precious to me, and my focus is on knighthood. Taking time to paint my face simply isn't a top priority. Sure, but imagine if you could combine the two and become the most fabulous knight ever. Okay, maybe I'm taking it too far. I know knights don't necessarily need a ton of makeup or things like that for the job. I'm just saying, I really think oh, yeah, you'd Seth, enjoy it if you, you opened your mind to it. All I'm talking about is a light touch. It's just a black box. I can see it now. Your gorgeous now. face done up with a delicate application of makeup. The fabulous knight who everyone looks up to and wants to be. Um, looks better than well, without it. Maybe? I guess. That does sound mostly harmless. Hooray! Okay, we don't have a moment to lose. Here, take this makeup kit, play around with the colors, and see what speaks to you. Now, wait just a... I actually got that little kit as a gift the other day, and I wasn't sure what to do with it because I already have that one. It's a limited palette, but I think it fits the look you're going for perfectly. I actually never agreed to start putting that stuff on my face, Annette. What? Oh, well then, I guess this whole kit will have to go to waste. I'll just throw it away like the garbage it is. You're throwing it away? I can't just stand by and let something go to waste. <sighs> okay, all right. Thank you. We can do this. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, and I'm happy to help you learn to apply it too. Come on, let's go to my room. I have some brush techniques to show you before you get started. Now, don't get carried away. Ugh. She played me like a fiddle. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's Violet? Gotta support her. Oh, Rhea. Nice. Welcome, Professor. This is the first time I have welcomed you here, is it not? <laughs> there is no need to be nervous. Please, come closer. When you speak with me here in this room, you are not speaking with the Archbishop, but with Rhea. It's just me. <laughs> Such a sweet child. Oh, my apologies. I should not be treating you like a child. As Gerald's kin, somehow you don't seem at all a stranger to me. Speaking of Gerald, May I ask if he ever spoke of me to you?
Oh dear, how heartless of him. In any case, let us endeavor to become closer from here on out. <laughs> Since you are here, shall I tell you about the Gerald that I knew? By the look of it, you haven't heard much about his time at the monastery, have you? When I first met Gerald, he was quite young. Why, he could not even grow a full beard at that point. On one fateful occasion, the band of mercenaries he belonged to fought alongside the Knights of Saros. I was traveling with the Knights at the time, and Geralt jumped in front of an attack meant for me. He was gravely wounded, on the verge of death. I tended to his wounds in a desperate attempt to save his life. Thankfully, my efforts were not in vain. Geralt managed to escape a seemingly certain death. I made arrangements for him gone? to receive further care that at Garrick Mock. The moment he was deemed fully recovered, I invited him to join the knights. Well, it is not a story I have often repeated. Even at the monastery, there are not many who know that. I tell you this because, to me, you are the child of the one who saved my life all those years ago. And also... Never mind. It is nothing. I simply wanted to say that I trust you. By coming to visit with me today, you have... Well, suffice it to say that my day is brighter than it otherwise would have been. I thank you for that. Damn. <laughs> All right, time to explore. All right, pile of sixty seven percent. Let's go. Yes, a new path to tread. That's a lot. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna just keep the ones. Oh yeah, that would have been cool. Especially with the graphics. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll most likely stream until then. Uh, since I didn't stream yesterday, or the day before. Well, I did stream a little bit day before that. I'll just leave them alone. Good to see everyone's uh, sort of the same level. Alright, let's recruit some characters. Wait, what? Huh? Likely belongs to someone who avoids sunlight. Sounds like Hubert. To Abyss? Oh boy. Hey. Hey, I could use a hand. Use the sauna? Oh, hold up. Uh, where's eyeshadow? Let's go with the Chad Dimitri. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh no! I'm losing... That's not good. I'm losing activity points when I do that. No. Thanks. I don't I'm wanna... glad I asked you. I don't want to waste my points. Hey there. Yeah. I'll go to Abyss, the last thing I do. 
Wait, let me see where... Manuela's there. <laughs> it's a feature, I guess. Oh, if I'm... I know this correctly. Yeah. This one should Wow, be. what is Felix doing? This is such a rare opportunity. Yes, that's mine. Yeah, I knew it. Uh... I could use your help. Oh yeah. Side quests. Or more side battles. Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Could you help me out? I had uh, That's right. The <sighs> blacksmith is very important. Hello there. Knew I could count on you. Hey there. Since it can repair weapons. Oh. Is this it? There you go. Is this it? There you go. Come back anytime. Professor. All right. Professor. Oh, is it fishing tournament time? Why is that fish so still? Wait, is it swimming sideways? Perhaps, perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Ah, Professor, you are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you, though I am certain my brother would disapprove. Might you help me with a favor? Oh, it's not fishing time yet. Cat. It's a kitty cat. Hi. All right, Me? let's see if I can. Oh, it's awful. Just awful what happened with the right of rebirth. The infirmary. Well, it was a mess. Things are finally calm again. Let me tell you, I put all of my knowledge to use keeping those kids alive. Still, the truth of it is that when someone faces, we can't lose them, Professor. Not to battle or to. I can't recruit. This is. Hi there! I know someone I can recruit at least. Little baby boy. Have you seen a man who looks like me? He's middle aged and relatively tall. If you get the chance, tell him I've gone out, okay? I know nothing. I know nothing about. I heard about the things you did. I'm so glad Lady Ray is safe. I figure you're a great person after all, Professor. I learned all sorts of things, so I can do as much as possible for Lady Ray. Cleaning, chopping wood, making... I'm happy to help you out with anything you need done for your class. 
You betcha. I'm your guy, Professor. Yeah. Since, you know, you can't exactly add me to your class or anything. There he is. Aptitude. Of course. Of course someone had to get it. Alright, let's go. Uh, first of all, let's check if uh, I can customize him, make him look like he's in the future or something. A stone? A stone. I do not understand. Ow. Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Hmm. Yeah, he's tall now. He goes from little baby boy to big man. See what classes I've made. Them. Oh. Starts off like that, I'm gonna go all out on to attack the monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? <sighs> There's going to be a big investigation into the Western Church soon. I wish I could be a part of it. I want to hear for myself why Lenato had to die. Fully again. See you again soon. I'm happy that they stay the way you've upgraded them Need something. for every playthrough. See you again soon. As you don't have to redo it every time. Hey! Interested in art? <laughs> Is that Ash? The whole that me what right? I wish I want to hear. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. 
professor. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello there. No, it's this way. I'm stupid. Wait, what? Oh, I'm, I thought I was... Oh. Must be rather bewildered by the power that was hidden within. However, know that I believe you will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny. May I ask a favor? Of you? May I ask a favor of you? <gasps> oh my God! I'm pleased to have been invited. This is the first time I'm doing this. I am grateful. Yeah, many wanted this to be a possibility in the game when the game released. So they added it with DLC. Yes. Uh, I guess he's almost eight. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. Fodlan's future. I see. Yes. Cats. <laughs> I see. Tea party, baby. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. I appreciate your effort. Not a three star yet. Ah, Professor. Gerald was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. This month only. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to. I'm sorry to. I voice sunlight. Set of definitely seems like one of those. Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Do you have... Someone... No. Yeah, it's... Uh, this will be a lot of quests. This month. Adult with taste of the liquor. Crystal flowers. Oh my! The crest of flames? No, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. I must remain objective in my research. <sighs> The scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along. <sighs> I'm not... I'm not... Fuck. Right, now where to? Alright. So 
the whole that me what right <sighs> I wish I could be a I want to hear from my oh thank you Calming herbs Herb. Oh, it probably belongs to someone who likes wooing women. Who could that be? Man, I wonder. You. I'm gonna keep training until I can beat you. Have this. Yeah, that's. Yes. I have never had goings to the kingdom's north, Professor. I hear you have had you can. This is. This is. This is not belonging to. This is not. This is not. Uh, okay. <laughs> Muscles of a crest. Damn. Life would be peaceful and quiet with a sprinkle of drama to keep things in. But since you arrived, it's been one thing after another. Is that just a coincidence, I wonder? Oh, I was just kidding. Anyway, as I said before, I do like having a little drama in my life. Never seen that? Oh, you found it! Thank you so so. All right. Uh, actually, I'm gonna pick sweet treats. Adore sweet treats. Oh, she's right here. Aristocrats are fools, allowing their lives to be dictated by their crests. Though, I suppose. Hey. There we go. Uh... Not possible, hey, Professor. Did you happen to see that man I was looking for earlier? I just spotted him by the dining hall, but then he ran away. He... To be honest, he's my father. He's using a different name now, but there's no mistaking it. It's him. I know it is. Father, I found you at last. What a great parent. Thank you so much. Oh, that! I appreciate your effort. Quest complete. <laughs> I don't think I have anything on me that belongs to you. You, not you, either. Oh yes, the best name ever. Online li Liaison. Yeah, that's what uh, online is for. I need a favor. Yes? You just hide away a character, give it an item so others can buy it from them. It's very disappointing. <laughs> Damn, sir. Gerald? He said something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I can Need something, Professor? Until that's done, I can Man. Professor, have you seen my son perchance? I have need of him. <laughs> Should I Should I ran him out? Yeah. Is that so? Thank you, Professor. I must ask him not to distract you, Professor, nor his highness from the matter at hand. Oh, hey, fuck boy. I'm so sorry my older brother is causing you all this hassle, Professor. Don't misunderstand. I always thought he was a piece of garbage. 
but I never thought he'd steal the relic. I can't wait to see his face when he realizes I'm in the group that was sent to take him down. Damn. Oh. Against forts. Nope. Oh. Alrighty. Now what? Uh, ah yes, graveyard. Hi. Hello, oh. puppy. Hey, I wanted to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake oh, I have. I actually have that ring. In time, it will be In real yours. Life. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Aww. Well done. You have my thanks. I already know who I'm gonna choose. Damn, only 20 years old. How old I am? Kitty cat. Hey. Was that all the side quests? No. Clear the way a peculiar trend. That's all the ones I could do here. Alright, time for dinner. I wonder what's for dinner. I like this. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. And all. This is my. Uh, this is one of my favorites. How did you? Sadly, you can't have supports with Anna for some reason. Are you injured? No. Good. I'd have cut my way through, alone, without your assistance. My apologies. Your apologies are empty. Damn. I... I spoke out of turn. I'm sorry, Dudu. His Highness has put his faith in you. You're a valuable comrade. No matter my feelings. Oh, she is? I... The people well, of Dusker... Save your breath. There were countless At people like you in the capital. C, people B, who and spat, A supports would be nice. Threw things, insults and stones alike, whenever they pleased. Their anger was natural. I do not begrudge them. I... I see. You owe me no apology. 
and I will keep my distance on all other occasions. But on the field of battle, allow me to aid you. If you were to fall, His Highness would grieve. I see. Then I will accept your help on the battlefield. Understood. Alright, who else needs some food? I'll just do Dimitri and Catherine, why not? Oh, this takes me back. Eating food always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! Oh, cool. Right, let's head to uh, Abyss. <laughs> Owl feather. Hat on that. Oh! I'm gonna check the amiibo gazebo real quick. Oh yeah! Go to Holy Tomb. This is something I should have done earlier. I'll be back here soon. I just know it. Look at Byleth go. Yeah. Yeah, I can scan every amiibo since I have them all. Nah, man. I already have the songs for it. Before I go to this, yeah. Captain Gerald was all. If there's a problem, I want to help any way I can. I did, but he just dodged the question. Still, it's worth. I gotta support with Leone now. Oh no, Catherine. Uh, Abyss, here we go.
This will be something new for me, since I haven't... Huh? I haven't done it before. Let's see what this is all about. <sighs> Whoa. Shadow Library. Not an Abyssian, that much is clear at a glance. A visitor from above, perhaps? With what purpose? Oh, but of course! You must be the new teacher specially appointed by Lady Rhea. That is it, yes? Rumors have been flying underground about you. Well then, I am Constance Von Nouvelle. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I can recruit them? What? Where'd she go? <sighs> oh well. Offer item. Arcane Crystal. Wait, did I get... Oh... Yeah, I know. I haven't played it yet. That might be something I'll... do in the stream in the future. Alright, what's the other thing? Hey you! You're from up top, right? What business do you have here? Wait a minute. Ah, got it. You're that new professor, aren't you? I suppose that means I have to let you pass. I guess, welcome to Abyss. This town is full of rough and toughs, so watch your back down here. Influencer? To the monastery? Where's the influencer? I love the music here. Hello there. Hey you, listen up. Actually, I'm still here, truth be told. I'm actually working on a video about the music in this game. I might include Hello some there. chiller tracks and make it a top 15 instead. Kitty cat! Since the music here is so nice, I might can include it. Wait, I remember this from... Those... It's in a upcoming chapter. Oh, here's the influencer. Need something? Oh, hey, Everard at Gaming. Welcome. I guess I'll spend points for this. this one. This one. 
This one? I have enough for it. This one? See you again soon. Devil sword. Oh, Dao. Iron sword. Thank you. I plan on streaming for a couple hours, maybe. So, you're welcome to. Oh, come on. Who are you? Wait, shut up. Let me guess. You're that new professor, right? You just started teaching up on the surface. Even here, people have been talking about you. Not that the gossip got everything right. I heard you were beautiful, but obviously that was an exaggeration. What? You want to know if I can help out? Sorry, but I think it's best if I stay down here. Ah, side story. Well, at least she didn't disappear. A nice sword, Chatterbox. But now that you have it, the church is going to want to use your power for their own ends. Oh, come on. You can't be so passive. You gotta think for yourself. You're too good to become. Does this unlock the uh, supports between them? Yeah, it does. What's going on here? All right then. This is such a cool area. Sayers room. Men's quarters. Alright. <gasps> Doggy. Something in its mouth. Hey, thanks, doggy. Iron axe, iron sword. Damn, I really need to touch the side story after this. Through. I've been just missing out on this game. And after that, I'll most likely do Verdant Wind. I'll play the through the first part alone and then start with part two and stream it. I haven't seen your face before. You're clearly not from around here. Oh, you're that new teacher everyone's been yapping about. And yet, you look younger than me. Weird. The name's Balthus, formerly of the Alliance. Hey. Whoever you are, it doesn't matter much to me. But I do advise getting out of here before you get tangled up in trouble. Unless you've been sent here under someone's orders. In which case? I'll happily show you a good time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> huh. You're that mercenary turned professor, aren't you? The one who showed up at the monastery kind of recently. Yeah. You're the one I've heard so much about. Well, I guess it's fine you're here, then. You can call me Yuri. You'll want to remember that. If you ever come down here again. I like his hair color. Can you take care of something for me? I don't get what happened to Constance though. She just disappeared. It's like this. Fast travel. What do you require? Uh. Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the animals of the monastery. Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the animals of the monastery. What about Anna then? Now let me see. Your guidance is lacking. Fare thee well. Was that it? Do I have to. What do you require? Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the animals of the monastery. Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the animal. Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the I'll animals. Wait until... Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck wait with until the animals late of the game. Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have better luck with the animals. Now let me see. Perhaps you'd have. Now let me see. Perhaps you'd. Now let me see. Now let me see. There, Your guidance everyone. is lacking. Fare thee well. I don't get <sighs> What you want from me? Aww. Oh, I just returned to him. That's why. I owe you. Micklock. I know that guy. Northern Fargus, he's pretty well known. But not in a good way. The guy does what he pleases. Attacking towns in Margrave Gautier's territory relentlessly. Stealing food and even abducting women. I may be the leader of a bunch of thugs, too. But I'm nothing like that slime bag. Mm, hate's a strong word. It's more that I think I could lead his bandits in a better way. A hero's relic can turn a slime bag like Miklon into a knight. I know you've got one of those shinies yourself, but don't go doing anything reckless. Want my help? Best to forget about it. Consorting with me, won't you? Chapter 6 is a side story. Still don't get my process is <laughs> Alright, I think I've done everything now. That was a cool thing. Alright, I'm gonna make some dip for my Pringles and be back in a bit.
Okay, dip has been made. Professor, could you explain? Lady Rhea give you special treatment. You're not particularly strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, 
But she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight. But a professorship? Unprecedented. I'm not blaming you, I'm just perplexed. And it's not like just anyone can wield the Sword of the Creator. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlan. By the time I joined, he was gone. So I don't know him too well, but he's strong, right? Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. Damn. Let's give it a try. I am a little worried. We did well enough. Perfect. That worked out well. Am I starting to master this? I passed.
guess I'm gonna have to buy a bow for him. Side quests done. <laughs> hey, look, it's my birthday. Stay focused. Much needed. Not me to do that. Stay focused. Ready. I'm on it. Ready when you are. Here goes. That helps. Here we go. I'll cut through. I'll go. I'll give it my all. What should I do? Steph, check this out. Oh, I didn't mean. That's Each the wrong attack. Chance to grow. Also, don't worry, I'm not wasting the sort of stay focused. Attacks. That is that. That sword is so awesome. Another step forward. You never let me down. Ready. I sense Ryoma. <laughs> Stay focused. Yeah. He is quite dangerous. Let's see if I get a physical this time. Hey! As expected. Nice, Such power dwells within. 
I'm on it. I'll cut through. I'll go. That one is expected. Ready when you are. Come on, baby boy. Ha! That's what you get. Here goes. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks. Here we go. Thank you. All right, I was going to reclass. I'll give it my all. Mercedes. Alright, I forgot about it. I'll fix it later. What should I do? I want to see what his Chris is. Hey, he looks at me. Occasionally doubles attack and weapon boosts for combat arts. Oh! Are complete. Great, but I've had six uh, viewers before, so it's something, it's nothing new. I think seven is the maximum I've had. What's 
done is done. Those uh, subs for being on a stream every day, a streamer's uh, streams every day for half a year. Oh, okay, maybe not a half a year, but yeah, he's not doing streams anymore though. Try next on for size. Seems I prevailed. That's how I met most of the, uh, or some of the people that are on the server. Yeah. Nice. That should do. Stay focused. Just one more battle. And then I can make another word. Yeah! I can really do this. Does he have close counter? Yeah, boy. Let 
me see first. Oh, he has very good attacks. Time to use the gauntlets. You're in the way. Yeah. A threat eliminated. You saved me. That is that. Practice yields results. Thanks. Ready. This is what a real man looks like. Another win. Uh, who do I finish this with? You never had a chance. Ah, oh, boy. This should be enough. Six viewers now. Awesome. Alright, before I start the next one. Lord. This power fuel an archer. Sadies will become a priest. I'll put and finally, England will become a Back to the Pegasus Knight. Anna will level up her class, right? Even if starts doing business in the very moment. Pretty boy out. Yeah. Mercedes. She doesn't look 
different. Archer Ash. Doesn't look very different either. Ready. Finally, I'll be able to fly further distances. I'll go. Here goes. Actually, I'll let me check and see if I can. Current background music. I want to change that so I can have like the amiibo songs. Ready when you are. I'll cut through. Oh. Stay focused. Yeah. Much in one. I'm on it. Here we go. I'll give it my all. What should I do? Should I have held back? I know a good deal when I see it. Hell yeah. Bro, what happened? To Another way. I guess got all silent. My thanks. That helps. Slow and steady. to be done. The 
better to serve His Highness. So for a pinnacle. Each battle, a chance to grow. Should I have held back? Such power dwells within. Just give up. Thank you. 
Mercedes is like two levels above everyone else. Thanks. It's all because of her physic. As expected. You need to use violet. As expected. Oh wait, he's level fifteen. Pretty 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 pretty. Did you want something? I see. If you have the time, then please assist me. I am to water the flowers in the greenhouse. Thank you. 
Only do not water the ones in that corner. They are from Dusker. They require a dry environment. The roots will rot otherwise. Yes, they are. I like to do. It's pretty cool. I owe you a debt of gratitude. In both the extracurricular activities here at the Academy and on the battlefield, your presence has been instrumental in the defense of His Highness. You have my sincerest thanks. I see. <laughs> they do Was have there something, something in else common. you wanted? Then please, excuse me. Oh, whose birthday is it? Leonie. Thanks. We did well enough. It's in my grasp. There's so much left to learn. It's all coming together. Nice. All right. Let's see what the online statistics want well done. to do. You have my thanks. Impressive. Thanks. Appreciate it. Paddle again. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Your Highness, the hour is late. May I ask where it is you're going? I'm off to the library for a bit of research before I train. After that, a bath and bed. Very well. I shall accompany you. Uh, no. There's no need for that. I am a grown man, after all. You sustained an injury during yesterday's training. My presence may be of use to you. It was a mere bruise that will heal in no time. No need to fret over me to do. Are you dissatisfied with me, your highness? Please do not hesitate to correct me. And there it is again. Yes? What is it? Well, you often choose to address me as your highness. When we first met, you used to call me by my name. That was because I was unfamiliar with Fodlin's speech. Thinking back, such rude manners were inexcusable. To be honest, I much preferred it. I feel more comfortable being addressed by my name, rather than with the honorifics that go along with being a prince. But... I did not teach you to read and write so that you know how to address me properly. And I brought you to the Academy as my friend, not a vassal. But your highness, a vassal is precisely what I am. So much has happened since we met, yet we cannot seem to bridge this gap. So be it. I give you leave to return to your quarters. Take an early night and reflect on what I've said. Please. I couldn't possibly. I said I would accompany you, did I not? True. But I would much prefer that we take steps to ease this mindset of yours. <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't the pin. What was that noise? To do. Well, as you can see, the pan kind of exploded. Just a little. How did you manage that? I looked away for a moment and the pan just went boom. Ugh, I'm grateful nothing caught fire, but now the kitchen is a mess. Are you hurt? Oh, no, I just got a little spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. Indeed. 
but do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. Let us fix this quickly. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna help me cook? You object? Of course not. I'm just so sorry to bother you with this. Damn, these supports are getting shorter. <laughs> isn't right now what am I supposed to do what's the matter Mercedes I accidentally made this food much sweeter than I wanted let me taste it hmm. yeah a little sweet what if we try adding a few spices huh this is delicious you're an amazing cook Ash my dad used to own a restaurant I helped out a lot around the kitchen, even as a little kid. Wow, that's a lot of responsibility to take on at an early age. No wonder you always work so hard. I might learn something if I watch you cook. Well, no promises. I just have a little bit of experience, that's all. But look at you, you're great at baking cakes. It's true that I'm quite good at baking, but I'm not the best when it comes to seasoning. Maybe it's because I don't like spicy food? It's tough to make food taste good when you don't enjoy it. I just had an idea. If the reason I can't cook spicy food is because I don't like it, then all I have to do is eat some spicy food. If I learn to like it, then I'll be better at making it, right? I don't know, maybe. What makes you say that? No, 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 none of that matters. Once I've made a decision, I have to go with it. I'll make something spicy right away. Oh, this won't end well. If I leave her to it, she'll make an even bigger mess. Hey, Ash, which seasonings should I use? These ones? Um, oh, hold on, Mercedes. Let me show you. That one goes best with meat, but for stir-fry, what you really want is this. Okay, Mercy. This time we're gonna be really good and get the supplies with no detours. You're so good at sticking to a plan. I should leave the shopping to you. I'll stay out of your way and just browse. Hey, that's not fair. I wanna browse too. Looks like you girls are having a good time. Uh, Annie? Is this a friend of yours? I've never seen this person before. I'm sorry to be rude, but we're kind of busy. Wait a minute. I think you're shopping with money you stole. But no need to worry your pretty little heads. I'm just gonna have to take it back for us common folk. Step back, Mercy. This could get dangerous. Listen here, you. There's no way you can win against me. I don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to. So just back away. You think you can talk to me that way? I'm gonna... Oh, the knights are coming. What? Annie, run! <sighs> this is far enough. We should be safe. I hope so. But what were you thinking? That sort of behavior isn't like you at all. I just... I thought you were in danger, Mercy. You're actually blaming me for this? It's like I don't even know you anymore. Mercy! I was just trying to protect you. Wow. Today's dinner is steak and then a cake that's yummy yum. Now it's time to fill my tummy tummy tum. 
Oh, this mountain of sweets and treats that I long to eat. Oh, stacks of steaks and cakes and crumbs and yums. I hope I'm not interrupting. <laughs> Felix, you weren't listening, were you? <laughs> I heard enough to know that you're hungry. No, I mean, well, yes. At least tell me you didn't see the dance. You have nice footwork. Get something to eat. I can take over watering the plants. <laughs> oh. You're evil, Felix! And you're shouting. You can't just spy on people while they're singing without even saying anything! It's not right! I actually did call out that I was coming in. It's not my fault you didn't hear. Well, you need to speak louder then! Ugh, this is so embarrassing. And of course I was singing some silly food song I made up. I should have been singing about bears or swamp beasties. I didn't realize there were songs about bears and swamp beasties. That food song seemed to be close to your heart. Your stomach isn't far from your heart after all. Oh, you are the worst! Huh. What was that about? I better water these plants. Wouldn't want them to get thirsty, or they might start singing too. <laughs> Cut. All right. I don't want to battle again. I don't want to explore again because it's not useful. So I'm going to do a seminar. I'll do it so. Got it. Good to go. It all makes sense now. The dude's birthday. My fat flowers because I'm lazy. is drinking loud. He must be very thirsty. Well, I'll give it a shot.
It should be in our sights soon, Professor. The abandoned tower those thieves are using as a base. Conan Tower. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago. That's when invasions from the north were at their peak. Back then, this tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You're very well informed, Gilbert. Please, tell us more. Well, I... Ah, you're joking. Professor, did you see the local villages? They were in rough shape, no doubt because of the thief attacks. They're not going to make it through the winter in that condition. If the thieves had taken up pillaging in order to survive, that would be deplorable, but understandable. But this... This is something else entirely. It looks as though they destroyed those villages purely for pleasure. No matter what their reasons may be, that sort of behavior cannot be allowed. Ever. Don't bother losing your head over those lowlifes, your highness. It's wasted effort. Sylvain... The thieves' leader, the one who stole the relic, word has it he's your older brother. I know he's been disowned, but... He is no longer a member of House Gautier, or my brother. He's nothing more than a common thief. Are you sure about that? It would be understandable to find the situation, well, regrettable, to say the least. Regrets? <laughs> you must be joking. You know we're far past the point of regret. And it always falls on the younger brother to clean up the mistakes of their elders, doesn't it? This rain threatens a coming storm. We must hurry and begin our war council before the heavens let loose. Thanks. Thank you. I am grateful. My thanks. <clears throat> I might stop the stream after this battle. I've been going off for three hours. Alright, let's put the ones that... Healers in the back. is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They are merely thieves, but they have a hero's relic. Do not drop your guard. Don't hold back for my sake. My brother is going to pay for everything he's done. Let's check him out. It looks pretty cool. The hero's relics looking weird. Oh. One thing I really like about the uh... Yeah, it is sad. One thing I really like about Blue Lions play path. I'll give it it's my because own. you get a lot of uh, a bunch of heroes relics to play with. You didn't get you Stay don't get focused. that when you play with black eagles. Golden Deer I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played that path yet. I'll go. 
Here goes. Here we go. Ready. I'll cut through. What should I do? I'm on it. Ready when you are. I'm still not sick of this song. Why am I even here? Next time, bring your friends. You have to go around and get here. It's just a little annoying. But I do like what happens at the end of it. No spoilers. Captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. It all 
comes down to this. Not enough. This is my duty. Child's play. Fun for One more battle. Not enough. Child's play. Wait, what happened to... Ash does have an iron lance. Huh? Why couldn't I... Yeah, it's just a glitch. I am one space. Whatever. Oh, it takes me back there. Oh, I don't know very much about what I said is back from. I do know Turn the Death Knight, aka Teresa. I don't think that's a spoiler at this point. Not there related. Yeah, this chapter is very tedious. Not enough. I'm no stranger to battle. Stronger, huh? Here we go! Attack them from both sides! It's an ambush! You do have a lot of uh, items on. Had to be done. Do you have a favorite character yet, sir? Oh, Armor Slayer. Awesome. I know it's very thin and long in this game. Almost like a rapier. You're out of luck. Now.
nice. Whoops. Oh well. I'm pretty. as expected. What is that? There we go. It's C.
think the dude can take him. <laughs> Everyone's going for Bylo? Really? Too easy. Alright, one more. Price seventeen. I won't let it. I might have to unequip the same as for It's just is how it's going. A threat eliminated. I suppose I've improved. Accuracy ring. Nice. Definitely gonna equip that for my archer. AKA Ash. As expected. We must all do our part. Yeah, I don't want uh, Ingrid to get hurt. Another win. Ah, not good enough.
proceed with caution. Feels so bad for Ash. One last attack for the Iron Sword. Next time, bring your friends. Starting to see results. Auto battle to speak and so. Poor Ash, all in the back. Thank you. Thank you. 
should I do? Night Healer? Oh, it's for Mountain units. Smash, maybe? Yeah, Smash. Why have you come, you crest-bearing fool? I'm here for the Lance of Ruin, Miklon. Hand it over. I don't want to humiliate you, but I will. <sighs> Hurry up and die already. If not for you, if it hadn't been for you... Shut up! I'm so tired of hearing that! You've always blamed me for something that isn't my fault. Easy! Hey! Oh yeah, it hurts. I have finished it. So, you think you can take the lance from me? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! <laughs> I'll have Violet finish him off. Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Looks like, uh... What the? Miklon! Is that you? That form... Oh my! Is this your first time fighting such a thing? So, this is the power of a hero's relic. To create such a sinister beast. It has gone too far. I fear all we can do now is put an end to it. This design does look, uh... Like, uh... Gera from Fates, the birthright path. I'm like thinking it. Alrighty, heels. Where are my heels? <laughs> Much appreciated. I want the dude to attack. 
attack once, since he'll finish the class uh, skill. Well done. I know he doesn't do magic damage, but still. Uh... I'll give it my all. Watch and learn. Damn it, Gilbert, do you have to be there? Uh. Oh, he's gonna use a good attack. I think he can survive it. God damn! That actually did a lot of damage. Oh, Gilbert is dead. I have yet to be forgiven. For now, I must retreat. At least he's not in the way anymore. I need to get the Dimitri. Stay vigilant.
goddess. The beast is gone, yet Miklon and the lance remain. It's over. Let's retrieve the lance and leave this place. Miklon, my brother. 20 turns. Yeah. Play for a little bit more. That man, his form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The Goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the Tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. If someone without a crest were to wield the relic you possess, they would likely meet the same fate as Miklon. You, however, have been chosen. You are worthy of wielding the sword of the Creator, so there is no need to worry. The Church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. I actually have a choice here if I want to keep it or not, but I do get it. Uh later in a side quest. If I give it away, so I'm going to do that. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. Is your meeting over, Professor? I was just thinking about something. Professor, the possession of relics and crests has been highly valued in Fargus since ancient times. It's far from uncommon for someone to lose their ability to lead their house because they don't bear a crest. Just like Miklon. It happened to my uncle as well. The eldest child of the king, and yet he never ascended to the throne. All families whose bloodlines carry the crests of the Ten Elites are much the same. But House Gautier takes it a step further, and absolutely requires an heir who possesses a crest. To that house, the power of crests is a necessity, not a luxury. House Gautier holds the most northern territory in the kingdom, and they have fought with the people to the north for many years. The head of that house is responsible for protecting that territory from fearsome invaders, whom they keep at bay with the power of crests and relics. In exchange for that responsibility, they are granted special privileges within the kingdom. I believe the same. Ability cannot be measured by the possession of a crest alone. I believe that Margrave Gautier was wrong to disinherit Miklon, simply because he did not bear a crest. Still, there is always a reason for why such customs stand the test of time. Imagine what this world would be like if no one placed any stock in crests. Bloodlines that carry crests would dwindle. The metaphorical blade used to oppose threats would eventually rust. <sighs> this same argument has been made time and time again across the years. But both sides are at once right and wrong. 
I believe those with crests and those without should acknowledge the other's strengths and learn to respect each other based on personal merits. And that doesn't apply only to crests. The same holds true for lineage, race, faith, ideologies. If we could just accept each other and make mutual concessions one step at a time, perhaps... <sighs> Who knows if that's even possible. Everyone has something that is unacceptable within them. I certainly do, and I'd wager you do as well. I wonder which is best, Professor. To cut away that which is unacceptable, or to find a way to accept it anyway. Damn. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. No. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched every corner I can think of. I could not find her anywhere. She may be in danger. Oh, no, no, no. What am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. <sighs> Actually, should I keep going? I don't know. I'm going to check what the guys on PS4 are doing. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flane has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth. Recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Flame has disappeared? Seteth must be beside himself. So, finding little Flane is our mission for this moon? Leave it to me, Professor. Chasing after girls is my specialty. Sylvain, even you must agree that now isn't the time for jokes. I hope Flane is okay. I've heard rumors about some death knight running around town. Sounds intriguing. I have been hoping to cross blades with him. Felix, please consider how Seteth must be feeling right now. In any case, we must start our search at once. Every moment matters. On your order, Professor, let's try to collect as much information as we can.
I'm on the lookout for suspicious individuals. The only place I've yet to check is the library. As you wish. Candlelight. And who is that? No, it isn't. Impossible. Professor, to do. What are you up to at this hour? Your Highness, my apologies. Oh, none necessary. I'm sorry for startling you. I was just doing some research. But I'm just about finished. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. We'd better head back to our quarters to do. Until tomorrow, Professor. A most unusual man. Whatever could he have been looking for so late at night? Hmm? That book is quite askew. He must have rushed to put it back upon the shelf. It seems to be a record of donations from nobility. Arundel. That's not a name I know. But look at that. This Arundel gave quite a sum each year. That is, until the year 1174. He must have died or fallen to financial woe. Hmm. I can't imagine what this has to do with Flame. Alright, so this chapter is different from the rest because you can exit it already on the first time you explore, if you'd like. I think I might do that just so I can get through this chapter fast. Or now nah, I'ma wait for. I'ma wait on it. Yeah. First, let me reclass some people. It's time. I will do. Ah. Yeah. So then he gets a horsey. Well. I'll make. thing I'll do is uh, check through everyone's uh, inventories. Why do I have so many vulnerabilities? Felix should definitely get the armor slayer.
Alright, that's it for the stream. I guess. Let me just check who's online. Alright. Yeah, that, that's uh, all for this stream. <clears throat> if you haven't already, consider... Whoa! Five likes? Damn! Thanks, guys. That's a lot more than usual. I mean, I get one or two, but five? That's pretty cool. Alright. Uh, I might start another stream today. I'm not sure, though. Six likes, damn. All right, I'll see you guys later.